Okay. <coughs> hey guys. Good morning. What's up? Stressing in traffic this morning. Well, I can't really uh, stress too much. Uh, you just feel like you're killing yourself. Just a little bit. Now I'm not going to talk into the camera. It's very early morning. I just come off a night shift. So anyways, this is my problem in the morning. I'm on my way home now. Uh, this is down Lansdowne Turtle Road and what is happening is there is a circle further on. It's a temporary circle. Well, they say it's a temporary circle, but uh, it, it, it's not. Uh, I don't know how long it's still going to be there. There's no clear um, instruction on how long it's going to be there. But anyways, now the circle has a problem with where they're working here. So what is happening is Right now it's one lane home, or, or a one lane, oh, what direction is that, can we say, uh, east, it's like a, a northeast, uh, southeast, uh, going into Claremont, it's two lanes, so um, the left lane that used to be going northeast is now closed uh, for construction or whatever. Now, because it's closed on the left, <coughs> People are coming out at what is, uh, what used to be, what is the Burger King, I would assume. And um, they are coming right across from the other lane. And the crappy part is, because they're coming across and there's traffic on the right hand side going Claremont, uh, they're kind of stopping this lane. The lane I'm in right now, because there's actually there's no order coming out of um, what is this Lansdowne, the Rondebosch, Lansdowne. I'd say Lansdowne. There's no order coming out of Lansdowne. People are just three abreast coming out, just slowly trying to get into the lane going um, westbound to Claremont. So, but sucks. For this lane, I don't know when it'll be fixed. It pisses everybody off because this is what happens now. See now, now it gets a bit of a gridlock when people can't get into the lane going into Claremont. Uh, so they stand. Right now it's flowing, but it gets really crappy. It's now seven o'clock, ten past seven in the morning. Later it gets really bad. It gets extremely bad. So enough that it backs up going, backs up this lane going backwards over the bridge and that's how I got into the accident in my previous video because uh, I couldn't ride on here and I went left into Lansdown so it's a bit of crappy right now you see there's three abreast but there's a little traffic coming out of Lansdown I think people are trying to avoid coming in coming out but yeah that's about it and this is the work they're busy with now so they're busy with this road on the left hand side uh, there's a new Toyota coming on the corner there and then there's the circle let's not talk about the circle wow people don't know how to drive around circles eh people just don't know how to drive around circles i tell you look at this uncle now for example his indicators on oh my god Look at that, I have to now wait for everybody so I can drive safely. <coughs> so yeah, that's my problem in the morning. Uh, luckily I don't sit in it too long and luckily I drive early enough. I can only imagine how it is for people that are driving later than me coming home. You should be like against traffic but you are technically in traffic. It was so nice before when there was no circle and the two lanes going first, first direction east. And it was so nice, it was so lovely, it was so smooth. So let's hope one day they remove that circle. They put back the four-stop robot that was there. And uh, it can be a little bit easier. Apparently they're planning to put a robot at that intersection where the people come three abreast across the above the team. <laughs> that is not going to be good. So it's going to totally interrupt the flow and it's going to make the traffic go to Claremont even worse. Including the traffic going home. But yeah. Other than that, that's my stress in the morning. I, I, I mean, what's your stress in the morning? Where do you drive? What pisses you off about the traffic on that side, wherever you are? It'd be nice to hear. But anyways, cheers, guys. Keep well. And for those that are 
you know, fasting, Ramadan's almost finished guys, give you barik for when it does come, and enjoy it, hope everyone is well, goodbye.